So now let's talk about how to filter out people multiple times and how to control this. So some things I wanna do first is I wanna bring everybody back. So you can do this by going up to gender here and you can clear the filter from gender on your spreadsheet. Or one of the other things you can do is either on the home tab, you have a certain filter option where you can clear all. You also on the data tab, have a sort and filter group where you could also clear all. So I'm gonna stay on my data tab because I've got some sorting and filtering options and I'm gonna clear this and that'll bring everybody back. Now, what I want you to do is I would like you to filter out anyone who's a female with an age between 14 and 16. So see if you can filter out people who are female between the age of 14 and 16. So pause the video here to do that. So this is really simple for formatting with females, right? I mean, we've already done that. We can go to gender, hit the drop down menu. We can actually uncheck select all and only check the females, click okay. And now we have the females. The age though, you wanna do between 14 and 16. Now you can uncheck all and then check 14 through 16, that's fine. But what I wanna show you is that there's actually a number filter option up here where you can choose like, does it equal something? Is it greater than a number? Is it less than a number? between. So I could choose between here and I could do, is it greater than or equal to 14 and greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to 16. So I can type those in there if I had a wide range and I didn't want to go through selecting things. So I can go ahead and hit okay. And then it will only show me the females between ages 14 and 16. Now, once you have something filter out at multiple levels, you can really start drilling down into the data and figuring out what you want. So we could then go ahead and sort them by class. So freshmen first, then actually I want to go seniors first. Seniors, juniors, sophomore, freshmen. So see if you can sort those to be senior, junior, sophomore, freshmen. All right, to do that, you're gonna to go to class and you're going to do largest, smallest because largest would be senior, junior, sophomore, freshman. Now you can see I've never had apparently a senior female between the ages of 14 and 16 because seniors are never the age of 14 and 16, right? But I have had a junior apparently who's 16 years old. Those are some youngins in their class, right? And so you can see that I can sort them and it'll move all the data around. What I wanna do now is I wanna keep this looking exactly the way it does. Gender is sorted out or filtered out, age is filtered out, but class is in order by um, or largest to smallest. Within that, within these 11th grade females, I want their shoe size sorted from smallest to largest. So now we're sorting two things at once. We're talking about keeping the class sorted the way it is, where the 11th graders are all grouped together, then the 10th graders, then the 9th graders, but sorting the shoe size in order so that it would go 5.5, 7, 7.5, and then 9. This is a great feature when we're talking about sorting people by last name and then by first name so you can get people in alphabetical order. This happens all the time, right? So let's talk about how we can sort one thing and then sort something within it. I want you to pause the video here and see if you can figure out how to make it sort that so that the class stays the way it is, but the shoe size is sorted in ascending order. If I go to sort the shoe size right now and I put it in ascending order, you will see that it will unmix them, right? It'll go for ninth graders first. And now if I scroll down, we've got some 11th graders in the middle of my ninth graders, 10th graders, etc. So I'm gonna hit control Z to go back. I'm looking to keep these, uh, these classes the same, in the same order that they currently are. So now what I need to do is not just sort by field, I need to do an advanced sort, a custom sort. And that's gonna be using the sort filter up here. You can also find the sort filter on the home tab underneath sort and filter for custom sort. I'm gonna use this feature right here, this big custom sort button. When I do that, I can add levels to my sort, which means I can sort my class and then I can add another level after that. So first sort by class, largest, smartest, smallest, then by shoe size, smallest to largest. And I can click okay. And you'll see that my 11th graders are still first. They still exist. And now they've been put in order by shoe size. 